Hey guys, since Glavier is finally getting released in the West, I figured it's time to make a guide showing you guys how to play it. But keep in mind I am recording this on the Russian server, so all these translations will be a bit off compared to the Western server. But for the stats you go the usual, 750 swiftness, 249 subdue, 1 crit. And for the build, I have put the build in my description down below. I didn't want to show it all in the video in case there's a meta change in the, like 4 to 6 months from now. So even if you're watching this from a year from now, just go to the link in the description and you'll have the most up-to-date build. So just to keep this video short, I'm just going to show you quick what each spell does and then I'll explain how to use these different spells in a combo, in a PvP scenario. Usually you use your blue abilities to do some damage, mobility, catch people and so on. And a lot of your damage comes from this spell, Red Dragon Flight. So what you want to know about this class is you can turn any stagger into an unrollable spear. Tornado, dashback, star casting spear, and it will always hit as soon as they land. Even if they have roll, even, they, even if they start the roll animation, their spacebar animation, it will still hit them. That's what makes Celeste Master so strong, but well, obviously in free versus free it can be a bit harder in case their teammates are peeling, but with experience you'll learn when you can do that combo. But it is one of the, it is the most important combo you need to learn. If you do get an attack speed buff, for, like, for example from a blade, you will miss your spear if you cast it too early, but that rarely happens. So let's say you catch someone with your tornado and your red dragonfly is down, you can still hit them with the ring of light on the way down. Now for your red abilities, you have your R, the solar eclipse, you mainly use it for an end engage, it's not protected but it's fairly easy to hit, and W, E and A, those are mostly filler abilities, you only use them if, uh, if you know that the enemy doesn't have a roll and there's no one peeling for it basically and you just want to get deal some extra damage. Now Mantra of Dawn is one of the most fun abilities in the game in my opinion because it lets you play a bit of mind games on the enemy. How it works is if an enemy hits you while you have this up, you'll counter attack and stun them. Now one of the ways to use your identity while queuing up for PvP games is you want to queue up in red form. Which means, let's say I have Gage in red form and I switch to blue, I get bonus attack speed and that will help me on my first engage in the game, right? Now if you queue up in a PvP game in red form and while they're doing the introductions, this gauge bar will start filling up. And by the time the first team fight starts, you'll have one bar filled, which means you get 10% attack speed on your first engage, which can be a huge decider if you manage to catch someone or not. And for the ultimate, I am using uh, the second one, the red one. You can use it in two ways. You usually want to do it, it's a hold down ability, so you usually want to do the entire thing, right? In some scenarios, let's say it's five seconds on the clock and you need to catch someone, you can just tap the button for an extra mobility, right? Anyway, I hope this video helped you with the basics of this class. Make sure to follow my stream where I will be playing a lot of Glavier. And let me know if you have any more questions down in the comments and I'll make sure to reply.